Everything was always about sort of making up a second world. My bed was always a boat, and I was always in some sort of James Bond movie, and I was always like creating grappling hooks out of um, coat hangers. Like that's what I get to do for a living, and it's an incredible luxury that that's my life, is to be able to tell those stories and make up those stories. Creativity is discovering what the interesting problems are and how can you solve them in a way that's gonna be really interesting for the people watching the story. A lot of screenwriting is just really kind of disciplined daydreaming. It's like you're trying to put together a jigsaw puzzle, but you're not quite sure what the pieces even are. There's this misconception that you're always like trying to struggle to find ideas. Most of the writers I know, there's just too many ideas. There's really good ideas, and you're basically sifting through them, figuring out like which ones are actually worth your time. My brain is sort of like a, a game of survivor, and all these different ideas are fighting for my attention, and one by one they sort of get eliminated or they win. But sometimes those ideas will sort of be swirling in your head for so long that they'll kind of gang up together and they'll become like one better idea. Like John won't pay attention to us singularly, but if we all get together, he'll have to pay attention to us. I think the common theme of, over most of my movies is characters who are torn between two worlds. Um, they start in a very normal world and they, they go off to a, a second world and sort of have to figure out that second world. You know, before I start writing a script, I try to have a good sense of what happens and sort of what the beats are and um, that way, I really do know what the end is. I don't know what, necessarily what the words are, I don't know what the scenes are, but I know where we got to. I know this is how the movie is going to end. If I write from beginning to the end, that last third gets to be really jangly and, and, and sort of messed up because that's the part that I sort of slugged through, racing to get done with a deadline. Better that that stuff you're racing is in the middle. I have a lot of different ways of sort of doing that very first um, putting stuff down on paper. Sometimes I'll use a whiteboard. The advantage of using a whiteboard is it's a chance to just explore and to sort of make mistakes and see what connections there can be. Sometimes you just need to make a big mess. Here what I'm working on is sort of the central relationship between these two characters and sort of all the other characters and trying to figure out how they can all fit together. So I, I want somebody to be a rival to Linda and so he's just rival. And then you're thinking like, well, what are the characteristics of that rival? Who could that person be? I'm also a big fan of sort of writing off the page. Um, not everything you write has to actually fit inside your movie. Right now there's not a natural connection between these two characters, but it leads me to think like, well, what would their conversation be like? Have them have a, a conversation just in a coffee shop. Something, something that doesn't have anything to do with the necessarily your plot, but gives you a sense of what their voice is like, who they are, what's driving them, how they communicate with themselves. And so you sort of start at a central thing and you sort of work out, 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 and you figure out what's possible. And if you try to do this from the top to bottom of a document, it's actually really hard, but sort of you make a big messy map, as soon as you find some connections that you wouldn't have otherwise found. So we're up here in my office, and uh, if I'm working on a scene, the first step in writing a scene is really just looping it in my head. And looping it is just figuring out what actually happens in the scene, where we are, which characters are there, kind of watching it. It's like being a documentary filmmaker, but inside your head. And so you're seeing this thing happen in front of you, and just, it keeps happening, and keeps happening, and keeps happening. And eventually it plays enough times and you start to see, okay, that's the scene. It's like you're just seeing the scene in your head, like the, you're shooting the movie, movie in your head and you feel like what it is. The crucial step I've learned is I have to get it out of my head and onto paper as quickly as possible or else I'll forget it. So what I'll do is, is this scribble draft, which is just basically as fast as I possibly can, I write it down. It's the worst, most gibberishy kind of handwriting. Mostly the dialogue, really sort of the, the, the bare bones of what's happening. That version is supposed to be terrible. It's supposed to be transitional. No one should ever see that version. It's just really notes for myself. Um, I have a standing desk because I find if I actually stay on my feet, I tend to focus a little bit more. I have a weird keyboard that is bent and broken because my wrists got bent and broken from typing too much. So I type this way rather than typing this way, but it all works. It's best for me not to write in sequence, so I won't start at the beginning of the story, go through the end. I'll write whatever scene appeals to me to write. By skipping around a lot, I can stop myself from saying, well, I don't know what that next scene is, so I'm just gonna stop. There's always some scene in the script that I could write and it'd take away my excuse for not writing that day. Early on in the process, I try to get those last 10 pages done so I know what the boundary of the script is. Once I feel like I've had more than half the script handwritten out, then I'll really go through and assemble the whole thing together and really see what's there and what needs to be worked on. So that I'm kind of painting towards the middle. If you're planning a road trip, you gotta kinda know where you wanna end up. You gotta know where you start and where you're gonna end up. And then you can take really fascinating ways to get there. 
but it's important that you actually finally get to the place you're trying to get to. 